Good morning, folks. We're watching a longitudinally oriented plasma filament cresting over the eastern limb of our star. We'll keep an eye on the dancing magnetic material as it turns in, but today we've got space weather beginning to become relevant more than two days after expected, some wild weather events, and notes regarding the earthquake watch. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on our star. Watch those bright active areas turning towards the center, and there will be an increasing in brightness there. It is not due to solar flares, at least not yet, but as the sunspot grouping we saw yesterday continued across the Earth-facing half of the sun, it has been growing and growing. At this point, there are delta spreaders coming up from between them and then migrating outward to the sides. This actually has the magnetism to make a flare, and now it has to overcome the Earth-facing quiet. Solar wind telemetry here, three days of it, we're seeing yellow speed going up, a slight shift across the board in telemetry at that time, including a definitive bulge up at the top panel's BZ. Eyes open today for stream intensification and for geomagnetic effects. The coronal hole is beginning to stop facing Earth now, which is why it was only a four-day earthquake watch period. That last bit coming in way over to the left will set a minor watch for one area later this week, we're going to have more on that in a moment, but first, this is the famed Ocean Road in Victoria. Landslides, excessive rainfall, and the cleanup is underway. But the weirdest weather of the day, week, month, maybe year so far is just north of that. Samoa with hail. Such a rare event, it was widely speculated to be a hoax of some kind. Records only indicate one other instance of hail in Samoa, and that was in 2011. Folks, this is the latest from Billy's Lab, and we also made a deeper look episode about it here yesterday. We figured that as good as it was to see lightning finding fault lines in various different rocks, it might be better to represent the global electric circuit dark mode currents if we show glow mode plasma as opposed to arc discharge lightning. Beyond the deeper look and the podcast from this past weekend, which went well over time and was an absolute blast, we will give an update to the Quake Watch tonight if it is determined that we need one. My best guess is that the Indo to Fiji alert zone that migrated up from New Zealand will steady and remain until that other coronal hole swings around. Again, if the new update needs to be made, it'll come on Twitter this afternoon. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.